So here's the, uh, the surprise person who's about to come up, not on your program. Um, it's already been uh, leaked out a little bit, but uh, in a wonderful way. Um, we have been seeking through this process to bring together both uh, public and private support. Um, and I am delighted to uh, introduce and to, uh, to welcome a colleague of mine, um, George Martinez from the Knight Foundation, who's going to make a new announcement. Good morning, everybody. I'm really pleased to be here to be able to join all of you in Chicago today. Chicago is a great city. And like all the other cities and towns in our, in our country, it is rich in history and a diverse cultural heritage. A past that has been documented, photographed, taped, and stored away in museums, archives, and in libraries, places like this incredible institution we find ourselves this morning. And for me, it's very appropriate that I'm here this morning because we really care deeply about libraries at Knight Foundation. Knight Foundation is a national foundation that has deep community roots. Our founders, Jim and Jack Knight, were newspaper men that believed that an informed and engaged community is important for a healthy democracy. It means that access to good information is as important as clean water and safe streets and necessary for people to make important decisions in their lives. Libraries are some of the best examples of informed and engaged that you will see in any community. It's places where people go these days to find out what's going on, what they need to know, and to connect to even the most basic of services. However, I'm really here to talk about the Digital Hubs Project. This is an exciting project that begins to deliver on the promise of the Digital Public Library of America to make information contained with these, within these local institutions available, searchable, and usable to create new materials. The launching of these hubs will begin to deliver services to libraries. It will help libraries digitize and electronically store materials, even if they lack the resources. A metadata geek squad will be helping the libraries try to make sense of all this new information they'll be collecting. And it will also help them create the agreements that they need to negotiate between all these partner organizations. Now, these are all wonderful, important tasks and very vital to this initiative. But it's not really what caught our attention about this. It's the potential for using the information that really interests us. To us, this project is not just about technology and data. It's about how these institutions use it to enable interaction between community members around materials of local and national relevance. It's about creating new opportunities for libraries to play a central role in fostering civic dialogue, shared understanding of community history, and greater cultural acceptance. Finally, it's also about the partnerships that are being created here. It's the state and local libraries and archives partnering with the federal, nonprofit, and private organizations to create some powerful collaborations that really strengthen this effort. This really touches on the, on the heart of our library strategy in helping libraries evolve as places of personal transformation and community engagement. So I am very pleased to be standing here to announce that the trustees of the John S. and James O. Knight Foundation have awarded $1 million to join the funding from the National Endowment for the Humanities and the Institute of Museum and Library Services to launch the first digital hubs of the Digital Public Library of America. Jack Knight used to say that a good newspaper should bestir the people into an awareness of their own condition, provide inspiration for their thoughts, and rouse them to pursue their true interest. This work holds the same potential, to bring people together around shared goal of making information more available and accessible, of helping turn that information into knowledge, and of using that knowledge to influence others in a way that can lead to a more vibrant and connected community. So I want to thank John and Mara and the rest of the members of the DPLA board for the leadership to date and for all their leadership they're gonna provide moving forward. I also wanna acknowledge all the work that has been done by the working streams and by all the people that have been participating in the data sprints. And also to my colleagues at the Sloan and Arcadia Foundation for keeping the dream alive with your funding over the last year. I can't wait to see where we're gonna be next October, but I know it's gonna be an exciting place. Thank you.
George, thank you. That's a very, very exciting uh, announcement. And as one of the trustees of the Knight Foundation who did recuse himself from that vote, um, I'm especially pleased that these two great institutions have aligned themselves uh, in just this way. So thank you, thank you, uh, George, and thank you um, to other Knight colleagues. I see John Bracken here as well, um, and to Maura Marks, who did all the work on that uh, grant application, along with colleagues, um, since I didn't. Um, so that was a wonderful uh, thank you um, to the Knight Foundation.